Hi, in this tutorial, we'll see how to control a DC motor from MATLAB by creating a graphical user interface. Here are circuit diagram. I used the L293 motor driver and uh, toy DC motor. So from the L293 motor driver, uh, this motor driver is capable of controlling two DC motor, but I used only one side uh, of the L293 because that I'm going to use for only one uh, motor and the enable uh, first pin that is the enable pin of L293 d is connected to the 8th pin and the input of the L293 d are connected to the 6th and 7th pin of Arduino Mega so here uh, the, I have connected to my Arduino Mega and this is the motor here let's see how to uh, do a program for this in MATLAB so first uh, type guide and choose a blank GUI function I need three buttons so one if I press the first button the motor should uh, run clockwise if I press the second button it should run anti-clockwise and if I press the third one the motor should stop and I'm also control the speed of the motor so I'm going to use a slider and the speed of the motor can be seen on the text here that's it and I'm going to do some changes to the slider that the maximum value should be 5 for the slider and I'm going to change the push button names to the first button name I'm going to change to clockwise the second one to counterclockwise or anticlockwise so that's it and the third one change to be stop I also want to change the color of that particular button. I'm going to change the color to red. I did all the changes. I need to uh, save my script now. I need to save this now. I'm going to save it as DC control. Let's see how to write the script for our GUI function the first thing we have to initialize some variables so whatever the previous function that is in the memory that will be clear if I give the clear all function and I'm going to assign a global variable for this and this global variable is going to have the Arduino so everything is initialized in the beginning so when I first uh, press the push button 1 so what should it has to do is global a call the Arduino and I'm going to use a right digital pin a comma I'll connect a d6 and d7 for controlling the direction d6 and the value is going to be 0 and right digital pin a comma d7 comma 1 and I'm gonna copy this function copy the same thing is going to be happen when I press the second button instead of 0 1 it should be 0 here and the 1 on the sixth pin Ctrl S. So again, I need to copy this and paste on the third button. So both the buttons should be in low state. So if I press the third button, the motor should goes off. So here a slider. Let's create the function for the slider. Global A. Calling my Arduino variable again. 
and here my slider equal to copy this function here you can see that copy this function and paste here and one more thing we have to do is to set the uh, text to whatever the value that is comes from the slider now if you see that the maximum value we set for the slider is 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce another variable that is called slider1 here I'm going to save my slider whatever the value that is comes from my slider movement will be multiplied by 20 and that value will be stored in the slider1 so this value, the slider1 value I'm going to use for the display One comma string comma number two str and string one sorry that is slider one close function. So everything is done and we need to uh, add a one more line to this that is the guide data edge object comma handles so I'm gonna say this so the and one more thing that we have to add here is and we have to write the PWM voltage we have to write the uh, PWM voltage to the pin number 8 that pin is responsible for the speed of our DC motor. So T8 comma the slider value. Let's run the program and check how it works. The program is started. Open the cam window. I'm going to click my clockwise button. There is no movement in our motor. The reason is that the speed is inset to zero. I'm going to increase the speed. So here you can see the motor is rotating. So if I reduce the speed, So it's stop. It at least needs to be uh, above 50. Let's stop this. And we'll run the motor in our clockwise. Increase the speed of the motor now. So the entire board is started to move now. I'm gonna reduce the speed. So the speed has reduced now. Let's run the motor in clockwise direction. And clockwise. Clockwise. And clockwise. And stop it clockwise, stop it and clockwise. Let's once again uh, increase the speed of the DC motor. Let's reduce the speed of the It's really really moving slow So here you can see the movement 
Ah, nunca es. So here you can uh, see clearly that the direction the motor is moving. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.